Turn my clock, I can't stop. Fuck around, make my 40 pop. No pop con, I pop pistols. What it do YouTube, my name is Bear Witness, welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, we're going to be talking about Black Ops 4, or rather, Call of Duty in general, and how its decrease in players can be fixed, and also how it came to become. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is how Black Ops 3, which is where we're going to start in the timeline, we're going to start at Black Ops 3, and how monumentally incredible it was, especially after, you know, Advanced Warfare kind of brought it down, brought the player base down and people weren't very certain on what they wanted to do then you have you know then you have black ops 4 or black ops 3 come out and it was still even with all the jumping around and everything it was still one of the greatest call of duties it was it's up there with some of the greatest call of duties even with all the jumping around and stuff because it was new and it was innovative and it was something that people wanted to do now granted that the player counts that I'm going to show you guys in the video, which I'll show you guys the player counts about now. A lot of this is speculated to be, you know, there, there's some varying factors. This is just a rough estimate of the player count, but there's some varying factors. Now, one of the biggest varying factors is that the game was released for free for a short amount of time for PlayStation players. And this is only registering PlayStation players. This isn't registering Xbox players at all. So there might have been a slight difference. Maybe there was more players, maybe there wasn't, I don't know. Because I know for a majority of these games, provided Black Ops 4 being the first Call of Duty I ever played on PlayStation, I was playing a lot of these games on Xbox myself, so there's that. But, you have Black Ops 4, great game. You follow that up with Infinite Warfare. Now, that game, complete shitstorm, it was, nobody wanted to like Absolutely nobody. Nobody wanted to enjoy that game, nobody wanted to even give that game a thought, and... The craziest thing is, is that when I went back and I actually had the opportunity to play it, it really wasn't that bad of a game. That was the product of like the community just not wanting jetpacking, not wanting anything. They wanted, they were tired of it. They wanted boots on the ground. That was the la that was the one thing they wanted. But that I, the game was already in development and they couldn't do anything about it. And they couldn't just take it out because then the maps were already designed for boost jumping and everything. It almost seems like some of the maps are designed for boost jumping in BO4, but who knows? Now. Next up, we talk about World at War. Now, when we talk about World at War, a lot of people have a lot to say about it, how the game wasn't very fun, this, that, and the other, yada, yada, yada. But one thing it was is it was very community-driven, and but it was still not what people wanted. It just wasn't. It was a game that, like, it was fun when I did the initial boots on the ground was announced everybody was like oh it's a return to form but once playing the game they realized that it was yeah it's still not what they wanted it's still not something that they thought was a good idea now you have black ops 4 now black ops 4 at this point because of all the constant disappointment people were ready for this game to die people were just work and with the rising success of fortnite not blaming fortnite for the loss of player count but it is one of definitely a factor that the fact that Call of Duty hasn't changed very much over the last, I don't know, uh, five, six years, it hasn't, or ever. Actually, it really hasn't ever changed. I mean, there was the boost jumping, like we stated earlier. There was the specialist, but aside from that, the game hasn't really changed. So, you have the same game. You have a new game that has a little bit of difference. The thing that I want to point out, the fact is, is I think that the only reason that Black Ops 4 actually did survive, because even myself, I was not super excited to play another Call of Duty. Now, I enjoy Black Ops 4 multiplayer a lot, um, although I haven't been playing as much. I still enjoy it a lot, but the thing that got me, that really got me, that made me want to play it, made me want to play this game, it was Blackout. And I feel like that's one of the, that's what's happening. I feel like even after the game is over, like the cycle for this game is over, the year long cycle that after this game is over, Blackout will still be around. Blackout will still be updated and Blackout will be still a thing for a very long time until Treyarch's next game if they go through another three year cycle. Now how they could fix this, everybody wants a bare bones game. They don't want specialist. They want boots on the ground. They want it to feel and be like BO2. They want it to feel and be like BO1. Like, nobody, nobody wants boost jumping back at all. That cannot happen again. And if it does happen again, you can bet that the sales will be even lower than they were in this game. Or not sales. The game still did amazing on sales. But we're talking about 
general long-standing player counts now granted the game's only been out for three months it's christmas time there's a good chance that those numbers will go up and like i said it's not calculated on xbox maybe a lot more players play on xbox but i personally think that once they get blackout set to the point where it is a actual like they're not still having to do armor tuning they're still not having to do like weapon like well they're always gonna have to do weapon tuning if you're playing a multiplayer first person shooter you're always gonna have to do weapon tuning it's never gonna fail but once they get everything right once they create a game where you know you have you can do that still in black ops 4 you can create a bare bones game mode where there is no specialist you know you turn specialist off in the settings anyways in certain in, in custom games so you can make that a setting now is it going to be the way the game you want the game to be played no is it going to be the preferred game mode probably but at the end of the day people are going to get what they want people are going to be able to have the fun that they want to and i guarantee you probably your player count's going to join up now i can't guarantee you that your player count's going to jump up from that but you would definitely be on that road to satisfying the community that has made your game the popular thing that it is so with that being said i wanted to know what you guys thought about the same situation make sure you guys leave a comment down below make sure you guys also click that like and that sub button along with the bell so you guys be notified on all of my future content and with that being said i'm out of here peace